I hear the Lord say, tonight we're releasing a realm of freedom. A newfound realm of freedom in the spirit. It's dancing with the angels. I see us dancing with the angels tonight. And these angels, as we dance, is going to be changed, broken off your life. There's going to be freedom that comes upon you. Even if you can only stomp your feet, just do what you can do. God honors movement. You know, in the kingdom of God, we're moving forward or we're, or we're dying. It's only forward movement. There's no stagnancy in the kingdom of God. God is always pushing us forward to the next dimension of His love, His power. This earthly realm, it works. This dimension, it works on a spiritual law of energy and movement. We need to be moving. Moving closer to God. Moving closer to His will. Moving, God promises to move us from glory to glory. From glory to glory. From glory to glory. Maybe you used to move it from heartache to heartache. That ends tonight. God has taken us into new realms of glory. So Lord, we give you permission to take us up, up and away in the spirit. Just do it supernaturally, Lord. Do it supernaturally. Up, up and away. 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 Father, I might be thrown out of the chair before the end of the night. Why not? Why not? We gotta be spiritual. We're very good at being holy, but we need to be spiritual. We're living in the spiritual world. We need to see what's going on in the spirit. Because what's going on in the spirit is what's affecting our lives in the physical. So let's all just ask God to open our spiritual eyes. So just say, Lord Jesus, I pray you open my spiritual eyes tonight and my spiritual ears to hear you. You know, we look with our eyes, but we see with our heart. We look with our eyes, but we see with our heart. That's why if we have a broken heart, our spiritual sight is off. So I declare that our hearts are filled with the light of God. I declare that the light of God fills this church the light of God fills every atom within you. We can only see based on how much light we carry. But I declare tonight you're going to be inflowed with heaven's light. That the spiritual realm is going to open up to you. That the spirit of wisdom and revelation is going to pour into you. And you're going to start to know things supernaturally by the spirit of God. So Lord, we call down the kingdom of God. On the cross, Jesus... He pulled heaven to earth, and he pulled earth to heaven. And he created a new dimension that we walk in the spirit. Born again means born from above. We are supernatural beings. We are supernatural beings. So Lord, activate the supernatural tonight. Lord, run. Praise like praise. When we praise, it takes us to the throne of God. And it breaks, it breaks down the witchcraft. It breaks the wall. It breaks everything in your life. As we praise, we ascend up. Then when we get to the throne of God, we worship at God's feet. And we start to release the miracle. But it starts with the praise. We cannot break anything until we learn how to praise the Lord.
St. Paul prays in Ephesians, I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope which he has called you. When God opens the eyes of our heart, we have hope to the riches of his glorious inheritance of his holy people. Your inheritance is heaven, but your inheritance is heaven upon this earth. Your inheritance is healing. Your inheritance is an abundant life. Your inheritance is to be a miracle worker. Your inheritance is to be fully alive by the power and the spirit of God and his incomparably great power for us who believe. When you receive, when you receive Jesus, you receive the power of God. You receive the power to change your circumstance and to change other people's lives, to change the world. You receive power, authority, and then dominion. God wants you to have something about you that's different from the world. That power of the Holy Spirit within you. He wants you to have a command about you. That when you walk in a room, people listen. People are drawn to you. Because they're drawn to Jesus within you. The power that is saved. So Lord, pour out your power within us now. I call to life every spiritual gift. When Jesus created you, he put a destiny within you. He put a destiny within you. And when you receive Jesus in the fullness, your destiny is activated. Every spiritual gift is activated. You become fully alive. Masakarraseko. So Lord, I just call to life every dormant gift of the Spirit that Jesus has put in within you. Every part of your soul that is wounded or fractured, and every blessing that went with that fracture, we call it back to fullness now. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Lord, take us up to high dimensions. Take us up to high dimensions. Father, release the power of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, pour out the power of Pentecost on us now. now. One, two, three.
and behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and the light shined in the prison, and smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise, arise, get up quickly. May the angel of the Lord come to the church tonight. Whatever prison our soul is in, whatever prison we are in, may the light of Christ rain upon us and arise. May we, get to, may we begin to see and experience the angelic realm. See, when the Peter was put in prison for preaching the gospel and an angel broke him out, the early church, they were so accustomed to the angelic realm that when he came to the house of everyone praying, what they, Peter was at the door and they said, it must be his angel. It must be his angel. Lord, let us be an early church. Lord, let us see and experience the angelic realm. Open our eyes to what is beyond what we can see so that we can use and be empowered by these helpers of yours. You know, I really feel the Lord, there's an activation in the spirit of our spiritual eyes opening to what is beyond our sight, to the angelic realm coming into our heart, being infused in wisdom. So Father, we pray now to open our eyes. May the light of God shine upon us. And may the angels infuse us with the glory of God.
He's already given me the victory. Jesus isn't going to shed one more drop of blood. He's not going to take one more scourging. He did it all. He said it was finished. He did his part. Now it's our time to do our part and walk and receive the gift of who Jesus created us to be. Jesus is a God of upward movement. He's pulling you up, up, up in the spirit. He's moving you higher, higher, higher. What bothered you last week will not affect you tomorrow. What you couldn't believe for a year ago, you're going to have this year. And if you just continue to walk forward with God, the game is right. You walk right to your victory, right to your destiny. We break every curse that may have come down to generations. In Jesus' name, every burden that's on your heart, may it be washed away by the blood of Jesus. May the, may the spirit of wisdom and revelation come upon you. God wants us to be spiritual people. You know, this is a spiritual reality. And God wants us to be people of the spirit. He wants us to praise him in spirit and in truth. That's to understand that life is spiritual. Everything in your life that is happening is spiritual. What is going on outside of you is a reflection of what's going on within you. But Jesus wants to come into you in these moments as we go into worship. And he wants to cleanse you from the inside out. As he heals you from the inside out, then your life reflects peace. Your life reflects joy. Before Jesus came into my life and I surrendered to him fully, my life was so chaotic. I had no peace. I had nothing. But as I gave the battle to Jesus, as I surrendered to him, as I had the revelation of, I walk in victory. Jesus gave me victory. That my life has been victorious. But it has nothing to do with me. It's not because I'm good. It's because God is good. It's because that's everyone's inheritance here. And God has brought you in here so he can pull you to this high place of victory, of authority, of freedom, of dominion, of power, so you can go up into the world and suck everyone up with you. Amen. That is why it's about souls. You know, when Jesus, who was it, the tax collector in the tree? Zacchaeus. That was Zacchaeus. He didn't even have to say a word to Zacchaeus. He just sat with Zacchaeus, who was abusing the Jewish people, taking all the money. And just by being in Jesus' presence, Zacchaeus began to say, I repent. I'm going to pay back everyone I stole them from fourfold, tenfold. Because we carry a spiritual atmosphere with us. So was, if we sit with Father Tom for an hour, by the end, everyone's going to be repenting for their sins and coming to the Lord. Because what you carry is supernatural. So Lord, rent the heavens, open the heavens right now, and impart the supernatural life within us. Show us who, we're, who we were created to be, who were we created to save, and why we're upon this earth. In Jesus' name, amen. Just open up your spirit to the spirit of God. Open wide. You know, it's a skill to receive. We want to have spiritual skills. The spirit realm, we want to be skilled. We want to be skilled to be open, to be able to open and receive what God wants to deposit with him. So Lord, let everyone's spirit be open wide to receive all the heaven upon them now. I see a flow in the glory of God Flow of the glory of God comes upon you. A fresh release of God's glory. All things are passed away.
way. For those who are in Christ Jesus, you are a new creation. He has new things for you.
three foot wall and there's a car that's stuck, he's already smashed off the, the wall in the middle. And it's like, oh, a thousand may fall at your left, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. So we praise God. And then, yeah, it, it went from like rainy to uh, an inch of slush to two inches of slush by the time we got control. And then my wife also wants me to give a shout out to the praise music here because I've been listening to the Days of Glory tape from last uh, July, July, Holy Spirit School, last July. Oh, so last night, about two in the morning, I wake up because I hear something. And then I say, what's that? I hear voices. I hear what sounds like music. So I, I get up, I go, oh, devil, what are you trying to scare us now? Saying Hail Mary. Then I go, wait a second, that's Ariana. And, and it's, it's Mike Duffy. Because I had paused the video. I was listening to it during work yesterday, during the day. Paused it, had supper, never went back. And I don't know, the internet went out or whatever. The solar eclipse. It started praying at 2 in the morning. I said, nice try, devil. I'll praise any time, especially with Ariana and Mike Duffy. And guess who was on the drums? Two in the morning last night. Thank you, Lord.
sits in the back. He's very, very, very tall. Today's his 23rd birthday. Yay! Thank you, Jesus. But what's very special about Johnny, Johnny's been to Lourdes. He's very, very dedicated to Padre Pio. But we never thought that he would live this long. And I asked my mother tonight, I said, at what age was it that Father Tom prayed on him and told him to get up and walk because my brother was in a wheelchair the majority of his life and she said I think it was he was like 10 or 11 years old and let me tell you something my brother walks every single day at least a mile a day God bless him by the power of Jesus that boy walks and I'm just so grateful for another year with him
those who are really um, bad bout of insomnia, so I haven't been sleeping. And I get these bouts, I've been getting them for like 40 years. And I'll sleep maybe for an hour at night, and then I'm up. And I was like, I was really kind of annoyed <laughs> with God. And I said, you know, seriously? And I wasn't going to come. And I said, stop being ridiculous. So I came. And as I'm sitting, thinking and praying and asking what's going on, I know this is a test. I know there's a reason for this test. And what does it mean? And I felt like he was saying to me, many people are asleep and they're not listening to me. So when you're awake, pray for them to wake up. So I think there's a prophetic call in my insomnia to pray for people who are asleep. And I have to declare and give testimony to the works of the Lord. And somebody needs to hear this, to wake up, to stop fooling around, to stop playing with your salvation because it's not a cheap gift. It's a very precious gift and a very high price was paid for that salvation. And God is patient and he loves us deeply, passionately, madly in love with us. But don't play fast and loose with that gift. Come to Jesus. Wake up and give yourself to him. And declare the works of the Lord that no weapon formed against us will prosper. That every tongue that rises against us will be put to shame. That we will stand and see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Jesus Christ is our victory. He is our Lord. And whatever the test, whatever you're going through, he can see you through it. Praise him in the midst of the storm and give God glory because all of heaven is watching us. They are watching to see what we will do. They passed their test and they're rooting for us. And we are not alone. We have a mighty cloud of witnesses encouraging us, praying for us, and rooting us on. So pick up your weak knees, stand up tall and straight, and say, Jesus, I belong to you, and I trust you. I surrender my life to you, and whatever the test, you will get me through it. How many witness the eclipse? You see the, the moon moving in front of the sun very slowly. And if you realize the size of the new moon is so much smaller than the sun, it's insignificant almost. But it's the perspective because the moon is so close to us, it looks so much bigger. And I really believe the Lord wants us to know that our perspective of the darknesses that we think we're going through, the things that seem to be blocking God's work in our lives, that it's really tiny compared to the love and the work and the truth of God and that that passing over of that moon is only moments long that darkness that they talk about isn't completely dark even then there's a corona a crown surrounding it god never fails he's always with us even when everything seems covered in darkness. So be encouraged and know that the Lord God is with us and that he has the victory. Oh my. 
I've been held in your hands From the moment that I wake up Till I lay my head I will sing of the goodness of God Sing it again, I love you, Lord I love you
God's just showing me a picture of the light of Christ filling every person in this church. But that light is overflowing and it's emanating out of you. That the light of Christ is just radiating off you. And I speak that this light is going to open our eyes and our hearts and the spirit. But even as you go into environments, into houses, that light you carry and emanates from you is gonna change the spiritual environment of everywhere you go. People are gonna be saved just by being in proximity to you. Because proximity to you means proximity to Jesus.
is bound and it's cast into the pit, that the light of Christ is infusing you with all the glory of heaven. The Bible says the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him. So Father, the last prayer of the night is that you release the fear of the Lord. The seven spirits that stay by the throne of God. When we receive all these spirits, we receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit. So may the fear of the Lord come upon you now. That we just fear losing the love of God, fear offending Him. That we're attentive to God in every moment of our life. May the fear of the Lord come upon you now.
Thank mm-hmm. you.